Hello and welcome to the 11th session of Physics 9. We have the following parts for this session. So the first one is we are going to have a problem solving discussion on sample problem number two under gather information. And then we're going to be having uh, some kind of assessment. It's a problem solving assessment on uh, problem number one, gather information. And then another one, okay, uh, problem solving for problem solve problem number two. Um, other under gather information. So I hope that uh, medyo marami tayong mga problems sa pag-uusapan ngayon. <laughs> I'm hoping that you are uh, very much uh, ready to face uh, these challenges in physics. Let's begin with uh, sa another sample problem muna. Sample problem number 2 to help out with fixing their classroom. Neil Anthony applied 645 newtons of force to a box and moved it for 2 seconds to the right. So that's towards the positive side of the x-axis in the number line. Now, what is the impulse of that force Neil Anthony applied to the box? Now, uh, we have the following givens. Actually, napaka obvious na mga givens natin, no? I think you also already you already noticed them. Yeah, and so it's 645 newton. That's actually the force. It's actually um, expanded into 645 kilogram meters per second squared. Para magamit naman natin siya sa context ng problem solving. Kasi kung newton lang yan, hindi siya naka-separate sa mga components niya. Baka mahirapan tayo mag-derive ng uh, mga units. Or baka malito rin tayo ha, kung ano yung dapat gawin, kung dapat bang mag-multiply, dapat bang mag-divide. And for time, that's only 2 seconds. And I think uh, that's everything that we have in the problem. Ang nawawala is impulse. For the solution, we're going to be using a really simple version of the formulas. Uh, yung, actually, not really version eh. A really simple formula among the list of formulae na mayroon tayo. And it's actually I is equal to F multiplied by T. So remember, kapag ganyan, ipagmumultiply lang natin yung force and time. There's even no need for us to derive any formula. Nakalagay na siya dyan. Multiply force by time. We're gonna be substituting the givens. So yung 645 kilogram meters per second squared multiplied by 2 seconds. And we're going to be getting... If we carry out the operations, 1,000, that's positive, 1,290 kilograms meters per second. So, uh, nangyari dyan is napag-cancel na natin yung uh, meters per second squared at saka yung isang second. Okay, kaya nawala na yung, um, yung exponent na second squared, yung squared niya. Okay, so since it's positive, uh, we can expect na itong impulse na to is actually going towards the positive side of the of the x axis ibig sabihin papunta rin siya towards the right the way a nil applied it so there will be a change in the momentum of the box na around 1290 kilograms meters per second and it's going towards the right that ends the second sample problem. It's also the last sample problem I'm gonna be giving you. In the next part of this session, you're gonna be solving the following problem by yourself. So problem number one is Carl Ewen is the next batter of the round after Mel. He was quite nervous because it is just his second real tournament in baseball. Yung same ball na ginamit ni Mel kanin, kay Mel kanina, which was 0 0.15 kilograms, was thrown towards him with the same velocity. So it was also 400 meter, 40 meters per second. Ngayon, when, um, Yowin, when Carl Yowin hit it, pareho lang din yung contact time. So it's still 0 0.010 seconds. It's actually the same contact time as Mel's. However, um, siguro um, yung force is iba, no? Siguro mas mababa. Kasi nakita, nakita naman natin, ang nakita natin is instead of ma-launch niya with also 40 meters per second, na-launch lang niya ng 35 meters per 
second in the opposite direction as the baseball ball's initial velocity. Now, tulad nung problem natin kanina, how much force was applied towards the ball? So, ang givens natin, yung mass, same lang. Yung initial velocity, same lang din. Pero yung final velocity is negative 35 meters per second na ngayon. Bakit kaya yan negative? Why is it negative? Very good. It's opposite the uh, direction nung unang velocity, which was 40, positive 40 meters per second. So, since it was hit by the baseball bat towards the opposite direction, it's negative 35. And time is still 0 0.010 seconds. So, ano kaya yung nawawala? It's also force. Okay, now I'm gonna give you time to solve this problem. You have to pause this video because I think you're gonna be needing more uh, time. However, kung tapos ka niyan, uh, you may uh, continue watching this video. So, for the solution, we have to use the following formula. It was similar to the former formula na ginamit natin in the previous example, sample problem. You have to substitute the given. So, wala lang natin dyan is yung force. Okay, pero, papansin natin, yung uh, negative 35 replaced the uh, 40, negative 40 meters per second kanina. And, remember, it's the final velocity, ha? Hindi yun yung initial velocity. This is the final velocity after mahit nung uh, nang, si Carl Yowen, yung baseball ball. Alright. Now, uh, you have to carry out your, those operations. And, ano yung sagot mo? Is it also negative 1,125 kilograms meters per second squared? Alright. So, the correct answer is negative 1,125 kilograms meters per second squared. It's also similar to negative 1,000 125 newtons. Ibig sabihin, yan lang ang in na force ni Carl Yowen towards the baseball ball. And it's negative kasi the force was applied in the opposite direction. Alright? Alright. We're done with the second session, with the second part of this session, which is um, you independently solving this problem. Problem number one. Let us now jump to problem number two, which is actually uh, the last part of this session. He was so happy when he received his dream car as a birthday present from his dad. Julian rode his Mustang with glee on the road. At one time, he was hesitant that he was only rolling on 20 meters per second. Siyempre, dahil mahal yung sasakyan niya, no? So, nag talaga siya. Then, nag-slow down pa siya uniformly until na-reach niya yung 5 meters per second. So, sobra talagang bagal na niya. Kung yung Mustang ay naka-receive ng impulse na 30,000 kilograms meters per second to slow down like that, how heavy was the Mustang? So, obviously, ang hinahanap natin dito since how heavy ang tanong natin dyan, it's the mass of the Mustang, of the car. Yung mga givens natin, yung initial velocity was 20 meters per second. Yung final velocity was 5 meters per second. Yung impulse na in-apply was 30,000 kilograms meters per second. And the unknown is mass. Now, I want you to go back to your list of formulae and uh, decide. Alin kaya sa mga yan ang gagamitin natin? Alright, for the solution, are you ready ba? Okay, kung hindi ka pa ready, you may pause this video. Now, if you're done, let's continue. Alright, for the solution, you have to use the following formula. So, impulse is equal to M VF over VI. I mean, minus VI. Okay, again, Impulse is equal to mass multiplied by final velocity minus initial velocity. Uh, there is no need actually to use 
uh, yung un, yung isang formula na impulse is equal to uh, PF minus uh, PI. Okay, there's no need for you to use that. Pwede natin gamitin itong version na to ng ating formula. Now, the, the impulse was given, pwede na, natin siyang ilagay as 30,000 kilograms meters per second. Yung mass, hindi natin siya alam. So, we just have to leave it like that. M lang siya. Yung final velocity was 5 meters per second. And then, yun namang uh, initial velocity was 20 meters per second. Now, what do you think is going to be uh, the answer? Okay, so first... We're gonna be uh, subtracting 20 from 5, and we all know it's gonna be a negative number. It's negative 15 meters per second. And then we're gonna be dividing both sides by negative 15. So what we'll get is uh, we'll be canceling that out, and then we're gonna get negative 2,000 kilograms or uh, 2,000 kilograms. Since parang wala naman tayong uh, negative weight or negative mass. Right? All right. Do you have the same answer? Okay, hope that you do. This has been Sir CJ and so far what we finished in this uh, series in this uh, episode was the following. So nakapag-isa pa tayong sample problem, sample problem number 2 for uh, problem solving gather information. And then under problem solving gather information, we performed two independent uh, problem solving activities i'm hoping that i will continue seeing you despite the many mathematical terms we're actually uh, discussing here in the next video lesson have a good day